Anthem by Iron Man displays that society were not allowed to be different from everyone else, for it is a sin to be unique and it's a non-individualistic society. It is about collectivism and the song I chose to compare Anthem to is The Sounds of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. But the version used in this song will be the disturbed version. The song's main theme is about communication, which relates to Anthem in many ways, because in the society of Anthem, communication is gone. In this song, some of the lyrics meaning is about people being afraid to speak up and communicate because they don't want to stand out of the crowd. Everyone relates to how equality feels, they just don't want to speak up because they know the consequences and they don't want to stand out from all of their brothers. There's another quote in the song which vaguely discusses about media and magazines lying to us. It says, Fools said I. You do not know. Silence like cancer grows. Here are the words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. But my words like silent raindrops fell and echo in the walls of silence. In this case, the media and the magazines represent the councils in the story of Anthem. They're the ones lying to everyone and fooling them. The Sounds of Silence was originally written by Paul and Simon. His inspiration for the song is still unclear to this day. Paul wrote the song when he was 21 and would usually be written in his bathroom with his guitar in the dark. He enjoyed being in there and said that it helped him a lot while writing his song. When interviewed about the song, he explained that he didn't know how he came up with something so meaningful at the age of 21, and said that the meaning was just simply about people not being able to communicate, not only verbally but emotionally too. The version sung by Simon and Garfunkel was considered the original version, and the first recording was an acoustic version. It's a song that has simple melody and lyrics filled with a youthful alienation, and is very singable. Simon was often compared to Bob Dylan, and even Simon himself had explained that Bob was a huge inspiration for his song. He respects the artist and never tried to measure up to him. The band Disturbed then covered the song and released it on December 7th of 2015. It's the rock version of The Sounds of Silence and hit number one on the Billboard Hard Rock Digital Songs. David Draymond, the vocalist of the band, sings it an octave lower and gives the audience a different feel to the song. Simon had endorsed the cover and praised Draymond of the cover. He performed it live on the late night talk show Conan. Songwriting and literature are very similar in many ways. Every piece of literature and song has some meaning behind it and it just depends on how you view it. And to think of it back then, people would judge you if you were out of the norm. But now, a lot of people are embracing being unique. And the main subject I'm trying to focus on this project is the communication with everyone. Let your voice be heard and speak out.